Welcome to the Engineerable channel. In this video, I'm going to go into a little bit of uh, adventure engineering. And this is how, specifically how I carry a paddle board on the side of a large camper van, like the Sprinter, or it could be the Transit van, or the ProMaster. What I've done to my van is I added this l track system here first of all so the rail is screwed into plus nuts that are attached to the sheet metal and also use an adhesive to attach it to the side but we got plenty of um, holding area there with all those plus nuts and the adhesive and i use a similar system but a different adhesive for the solar panels on the roof Currently, this rail only runs for a portion of the van. That was like an eight foot length, which was the maximum length I could purchase this online. And I'm gonna put another length on the back here. I've previously purchased this L-Track in even longer segments, but I had to go to Summit Motorsports to pick it up directly from them because they wouldn't ship it. So eight feet is the longest you can get it shipped. And it's a lot less expensive to buy an eight foot length. So for the roof rails, I wanted one continuous piece. For the side rails, I was okay with uh, two pieces because for the roof, I didn't use any screws. I only used adhesive. And for the side, I was using screws into the sheet metal. I just didn't want any extra potential for leaks in the roof. From there, I have these vertical rails attached. So these crossbars. So it goes between the bottom and the top rail that and the crossbars are attached in with quick releases and I just have a angle bracket here that's attached to 8020 one inch by one inch 8020 aluminum extrusion t-slot so then I have another piece of um, L-track here that's attached into the 8020 t-slot so I can use that L-track for different purposes like putting quick release brackets in there to attach ratchet straps and such here I'm using the same heavy duty ratchet straps that I use for my canoe. Now for the paddle board, you could probably just use the standard ratchet straps, but I have these heavy duty ones, so why not use them? I leave a twist in here. Not, I don't put it flat because the twist keeps it from uh, slapping while you're driving. And I've driven at 70, 80 miles an hour with this and it uh, does just fine. It doesn't flap in the wind like that with that twist in there. And I attach this foam to the bottom of the metal base of the ratchet strap, like half inch foam with an adhesive back, and it prevents the paddle board from getting damaged from the strap. So even though the strap is a little bit loose and might flop around, it doesn't um, scratch the bottom of the paddle board. So looking further up here on the crossbar, so I have this angle bracket attached into the extrusion, and I just have a short length of 8020 uh, extrusion here with some foam wrapped around it to protect the paddle board. I think I'm gonna get some little bit heavier density foam because this is just a pool noodle and I noticed that it crushed down quite a bit. This hook in this case is big enough to just go around the 8020 extrusion. Uh, in other cases, I can also put a quick release in here to attach the hook into. When you're done paddling, obviously I didn't go to paddle right now because it's cold weather, but we were just down in Florida and it was nice and warm down there for uh, paddling in the springs. So you just put the board back up, pull the straps off from the side, and these retractable straps are great because they just pull right back in. You don't have any slack to worry about. I leave the twist in the strap. Go ahead and tighten that one. Then pull the strap around like this. And tighten this one. Boom, you're ready to go. Rock and roll. 
And when you're ready to go paddle boarding, then you just undo these straps. I pull them out far enough that I can bring them around the ends of the paddle board like this. I love these retractable ratchet straps. Like that. You just want to make sure that the paddle board also doesn't fall on you and fall down at the same time, so you might want to support it. But in this case, it's angled up against the van. And there you go. You're ready to go paddle boarding. One of the improvements I'm going to make here is to use a different type of foam here because this is just a pool noodle and it compresses all the way down where now there's just no padding between the pool noodle and the piece of metal underneath it. Same thing back here. It's just compressed all the way down. I can feel that um, piece of metal underneath. So just wanted to give a closer look of how I attach these straps on here. So this ratchet strap hook, it's going around the 80-20 extrusion like that. You can also tie it in with a, um, a quick release hook like this on the, on the side there. Put this quick release into the L track and then you have a space for the hook to go into, latch into. And this is what I've done up here. So there's a quick release eye here for the top hook. Same thing back here, there's a quick release eye. And I have it one hole down from the end just for added strength. And here I've used some crossbar padding to again provide a padded surface for the paddle board to sit against. So the crossbars are attached down here with the quick releases and also up here with the quick release. These crossbars are really easy to remove. You just pull the release, slide it over until it comes out, and then pull the release down here, slide it over, and you can pop it off like that.